Hello my dear students, uh, let us discuss with uh, one more topic that is energy dissipation. Actually this uh, I have already explained under components of uh, spill this. Uh, let us discuss in detail. The water flowing uh, down from the spillways produces a large amount of kinetic energy that is generated by virtue of its uh, uh, losing the potential head from the reservoir level to the level of the river on the downstream of the spillway. If this energy is not reduced, there are danger of scout to the riverbed which may threaten the stability of the dam or the neighboring river valley slopes. The various arrangements for uh, suppressing or killing of the high energy water at the downstream toe of the spillways are called energy dissipators. You can see here uh, the figure short blocks, uh, baffle blocks, end seal, they, all these uh, structures, uh, they avoid uh, or uh, they reduce uh, the kinetic energy that is uh, generated by the uh, head of the head from the reservoir level. can see these are the energy dissipators energy dissipators different types of energy dissipators may be used along with a spillway alone or in combination of more than one depending upon the energy to be dissipated and erosion control required downstream of a dam Broadly, the energy dissipators are classified under two categories as uh, uh, the first one is tilling basin type energy dissipators and bucket type energy dissipators. Stilling basin type energy dissipators, uh, they may fundamentally be divided into two types. That is, first one is hydraulic jump type stilling basins, that is horizontal apron type and second one is sloping apron type. Second one is jet diffusion type stilling basins. Here again there are subdivisions that is jet diffusion stilling basins, interacting jet dissipators, free jet stilling basins, hump stilling basins, impact stilling basins. And under bucket type energy dissipators, there are three types. That is, the first one is solid roller bucket, second one is slotted roller bucket, and third one is ski jump or flip uh, bucket. Let us uh, see what is energy dissipation below spillway. Water flowing over a spillway acquires a lot of kinetic energy because of the conversion of the potential energy into kinetic energy. If the water flowing with such a velocity is discharged into kinetic energy, if the water flowing with such a high velocity is discharged into river, it will scour the river bed. If the score is not properly controlled, it may extend backward and may endanger the spillway and the dam. In order to protect the channel bed against score, the kinetic energy of the water should be dissipated before it is discharged into the downstream channel. For the dissipation of the excessive kinetic energy of water, the following two methods are commonly adopted. The first method is by developing a hydraulic jump stilling basin. Second one is by using different types of buckets. The first one, let us see hydraulic jump. You can see this is uh, the figure which shows the hydraulic jump streaming flow. This is a depth y2, y0, y1. This is shooting flow d1. And uh, here kinetic energy curve. This is specific energy curve. This is static energy curve. Hydraulic jump is the sudden rise of water that takes place when the flow changes from supercritical flow state to subcritical state. This all you have studied in your fluid mechanics. When a stream of water moving with a high velocity and low depth strikes another stream of water moving with low velocity and high depth, a sudden rise in the surface of water takes place. This phenomena is called hydraulic jump. 
This is generally accompanied by a large scale turbulence dissipating most of the kinetic energy of supercritical flow. Such a phenomena may occur in a canal below a regulating sluice at the bottom of the spillway or at the place where a steep channel slope turns flat. It may be noted that the depth before the jump is always less than the depth after the jump. The depth before the jump is always less than the depth after the jump is called the initial depth that is y1 and the depth after the jump is called the sequent depth that is y2. In the specific energy diagram, the specific energy is minimum at point C. This depth of water in the channel corresponding to the minimum specific energy at point C is known as critical depth. For hydraulic jump to occur, the upstream flow should be supercritical, that is, fruits number, fruits number FR, that is greater than 1. Type of jump depends upon the value of fruits number, that is, uh, YC equal to Q square divided by G whole to the power 1 divided by 3, where YC is critical depth. Q is discharge per unit width, G is 9.81 meter per second square. From the static energy curve, if Y is equal to YC, then we can say it is a critical flow. If Y1 is less than YC, then we can say it is a supercritical flow. If Y2 is greater than YC, then it is called subcritical flow. You can see here, this is the hydraulic jump at the toe of a spillway, reservoir water surface. You can see this is a practical picture, hydraulic jump. Next is a stilling basin. Use stilling basin to initiate jump allows dissipation of energy within a structure that will minimize damage. Buffle blocks are used to make jump position more stable. Chute blocks and end seal are also used for control of jump. Then chute blocks, uh, see all these are used to control the jump, okay, under the stilling basin, that is means using a stilling basin to initiate the jump, then allows dissipation of energy within the structure that will minimize the damage, then buffle blocks that is used to make jump position more stable, then chute blocks and end seal are also used for control of jump then what we'll see what is chute blocks these are triangular blocks uh, with their top surface horizontal they are installed at the toe of the spillway just at upstream end of the stilling basin these blocks stabilize the jump improve jumps performance and decreases the length of hydraulic jump this is the function of Chute blocks. Next, buffle blocks or piers or friction blocks. They are installed on stilling basin floor between the chute blocks and end seal. They stabilize the formation of jump. They assist in dissipation of energy. You can see here, this is uh, a chute blocks, buffle blocks and end seal. These are the chute blocks and these are the buffle blocks and this is end seal. Okay, chute blocks, buffle blocks, end seal. This is the frictional space. End seal or denated, uh, dentated seals uh, provided at the end of the stilling basin. They diffuse residual portion of high velocity jet reaching end of basin. They help to reduce length of jump or basin. Next one is bucket type energy dissipation. Types of bucket type energy dissipation. There are three types. Solid roller bucket, slotted roller bucket and sky jump bucket. This is a roller bucket. The first one or it's also called a split. Uh, flip bucket type energy dissipators used when tail water condition is not favorable for adopting hydraulic jump. Roller bucket is a spool type structure at the toe of spillway. This requires relatively short structure in comparison to hydraulic jump type stilling basin. The high velocity of water slides down and get arrested by tail water. 
For successful roller action, the tail water depth has to be higher than that required by hydraulic jump type basin. Second one is slotted roller bucket. Slotted roller bucket like this. Okay. Hydraulic action in slotted roller bucket. This is a bucket roller standing wave and this is a ground roller. In the slotted roller bucket, a part of the flow passes through the slots, spreads laterally and is lifted away from the channel bottom by a short apron at the downstream end of the bucket. Thus, the flow is dispersed and distributed over a greater area, providing less violent flow concentrations compared to those in a solid roller bucket. The velocity distribution just downstream of the bucket is more akin to that in a natural stream that yeah that is higher velocities at the surface and lower velocities at the bottom the last one is sky jump type bucket you can see here this is a sky jump type uh, bucket type of dissipators similar to roller bucket type in construction the water jet flows over the bucket and springs up clearly in air and after a trajectory hits the river bed at some distance away from the toe of the dam. Suitable when foundation rock is of good quality and can withstand erosive action of a plugging jet. Tailwater has to be low so that clear sky jump formation can take place. It acts as sky jump type bucket at certain discharges and as a roller bucket at lower discharges. So uh, this is about the energy dissipators, energy dissipation, the types of energy dissipators. I hope all of you understood. Thank you.